all right welcome back to the um, demos today we're gonna look at uh, Harry Potter uh, the Goblet of Fire demo from uh, 2006 uh, January as you can see <coughs> right here that's January 2006 and um, yeah I said I will not gonna you know uh, showcase or well, we're gonna look at the same uh, you know CDs with the same interface but well kinda I said that I mean this is a little bit different and um, yeah because it has more shit to it and this is probably last time we look at this stuff uh, of this particular disc right so uh, real quick I guess uh, just roll with me right real quick in quotes <laughs> but we gotta you know look at this thing and uh, again it's pretty much the same right we have a video section right here which I can show right but you know there is some 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 hot babes in the background right um, some games you know uh, chicken little actually pretty good game by the way uh, played it on PS2 so not on the channel yet maybe we will at some point I, I do have it on PS2 so maybe we're gonna play that one at some point right uh, there's also bleach which could be interesting you know some Xbox 360 games yeah yeah this is like you know 2006 right so I guess people can relate to this more so also some software as usual I mean you know nothing too crazy some driver for motherboards <laughs> Intel chipset as well which again don't I, I don't know well maybe it would be fine but rather pick your you know drivers from from actual sites you know usually official sites right um, could be fine hard to say right I mean I never tried so I don't know but yeah this is like the demo section this is the game we're gonna play I think I said it the Goblet of Fire right in the beginning I don't remember but Goblet of Fire is the game um, and um, yeah there's also Chronicles Narnia which we're gonna maybe look at you know at some point and this is Super Mario Blue Twilight which is not a real game it's you know bootleg whatever you call it right uh, fan made game uh, I've played it in the past it's not really good so maybe we're gonna look at it I think it's the uh, the uh, full game by the way right uh, this version probably did get some updates as well and uh, yeah yeah this is a thing so and, uh, why we are looking at this because there's a shareware section as well right some shareware games airstrike 2 is a shmup game actually not that bad uh, I believe it's full here as well don't remember some other stuff you know which again possibly in future we're gonna look at so so yeah it could be interesting and uh, this is the interesting part why I picked up this CD in the first place uh, there is a flash thing going on <laughs> uh, and we're gonna look at it real quick right so alien clones for example straight out from mini clip by the way so um yeah yeah I guess go full screen why not and um yeah these are mini clip games dude <laughs> they just shameless without shame shamelessly just grabbed games from mini clip back in the day and slapped on the CD uh, which I believe wasn't really legal right there was some copyright I mean I know they were free but you know still I don't know morals maybe <laughs> I mean I mean it's cool to have right if you didn't have like interwebs right or whatever in 2006 which mostly people did have even in my country right so this is some sort of a clicky tank game thing going on uh, nothing too special right uh, yes or no right this is the second one and this was like a movie thing 
with really stupid music. Love it. Not gonna look through all of this. I mean, it's gonna take a while otherwise, but... Yeah, it's basically a Flash movie. You know. I guess it's funny. <laughs> Somewhat. Right. This is the last one. Because again, timing. I mean, there's truth behind this. Obviously, right? <laughs> so, uh, Crazy Frog is... I actually hate this character. I really do. I hate Crazy Frog. Even back then, I just couldn't do it, right? Um, but, yeah, it's the actual song with a clip. So I can't show it, right? It's, it's copyrighted music, copyrighted clip. And yeah, it just pissed me off, this character, I don't know. I mean, he looks okay, I mean, you know, kinda should wear pants, probably, because you can see everything, but, you know, it's a thing, so I'm not gonna look at that one. Okay, Monkey Lander. Which is pretty interesting. So, okay, let's see if we can play this. Alright, I mean, yeah. I died, I guess. Yeah, I died. One monkey's gone, two monkeys left. Okay, you must be very careful, so. <laughs> I mean, you know, I could see myself playing this, actually, back then. This is kind of interesting. This is not bad. And, uh,. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, almost like a PSP homebrew game, right? Which pretty much were, you know, flash games in many cases. So, yeah, you have some, some things going. And then this is kind of interesting. Okay, so trees kill us as well. Obviously, right? Yeah. Well, this is not bad. And I'm dead. Okay. So that's that's the monkey lander. <laughs> Off White 2, I think, was a stick figure movie. Again, you don't really play it. Well, yeah. Stick figure used to be a big deal back in the day. This is not really bloody violent, though. So some, uh, some other ones were really violent, which was the whole fun, right? Um, can I push something? No. I don't think I can do anything here. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a movie. It goes on. So again, you know, not that cool and interesting, I guess. Maybe. Uh, this is really small screen, as you can see. But, oh, this is 3D. Like, this is impressive. And we play with mouse. Okay, with it fall. Which is fine. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, and you kind of speed up here, and go faster to get more points. Again, nothing too crazy, obviously, but okay. Kind of do the camera here as well a little bit, which is kind of cool. So, but it's impressive. I mean, it's 3D, you know, and not like worse 3D all things considered right looks like a very early DOS game but on 60 FPS I would say right. well it says 25 but <laughs> you know it feels smooth I guess horses I think I know what this is yes this is stupid boom 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 Boom, 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 boom,
yeah that just happened pretty much um that is funny really funny made me really stupid um you know you kind of look at it with your mouth open drools coming you know yeah i think i lost something watching that probably part of myself but um i remember it i remember it <laughs> It's stupid, but but I but I love it. I love that shit. It, it's it's great. Okay, banana barrage or something. Oh, look at that. We have some we have some Donkey Kong right here. So toss bananas into barrels before time runs out for a high score. Uh, sure. Okay, how we play this with arrows? Okay, and uh, space. All right. I'm really bad at this. Okay, so there's a bit of a bootleg action going on here. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know how fun this is. I guess it's fun, right? <laughs> so stupid. Okay, um, whatever. It's a thing. Dancer. Okay. So it basically dances. And that's it, right? And this is fun. Now, can learn some new moves for that club action, right? Um, copyright. Oh, this is from 98, look at that. Oh, props to the dude. <laughs> so yeah. This is basically like animation thing going on, so. A lot of moves, I guess. Again, something very eerie about that, though. You know, kind of scares you a little bit. Elf Bowling 3. I think this is an actual game. Yeah. Elf Bowling is dumb. In a good way. Yep. When life hands you an orange, make screwdrivers. Some really cheesy lines, and basically... You know, it's, it's hey, like Grindle, you're so fat, you've got your own zip code. Some some funny jokes. Freaking on the weekend. Loser. I mean I am. Your name is Phil. Phil you Phil. Don't laugh, your daughter might be in here. Uh, ooh, that's that's nasty. Freaking on the weekend. <laughs> ah! Well I keep missing. Bite me. Okay. Oh, let's see. Like this, maybe. Almost. Hey, Kringle, dig my haircut. The mullet's back in style. At what point did this seem like a good idea? <laughs> so, yeah, this is like humor you can't. Down, boy, down. Can't do nowadays. At all. Super offensive, probably, to some. I'm really bad at this, as you can see. Okay. And I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Ooh, fatal error. Okay. Let's see if we're gonna die. Ah, we're well, fine. We're well, fine. Oh, this is Russian. This is Russian. Yes, I know exactly what this is. So this is basically game and watch thing. Uh, that we had in uh, Soviet times, right? Kind of wasn't around, but um, I think even in the early 90s they had these bunch of these games. Yeah, they're pretty much game and watch uh, bootlegs, right? Uh, and uh, yeah, this character is basically well, it was kind of like the same thing as Tom and Jerry, only with wolf and rabbit. 
or Looney Tunes kind of a thing going on. So, only Russian version to it, I guess. So, yeah, let's see. Well, that's the whole game, basically. But yeah, they were handhelds, you know, and uh, Nintendo handhelds, Game and Watch, first handhelds. Okay. okay. So credits. Oh, it's actually Polish. So the dude who made this is Polish, I guess. Because BL, right? So there's some faster game. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and there were real things, right? Back in the day, around these parts. I do have uh, three of them, actually. Which, which is, uh, I guess, cool thing, right? <laughs> Still work as well. Um, golf. Okay, let's see golf. Well, that is French. Could be. I don't know. Kind of English, though. Okay, so this is. Oh, see. I see. Yeah, again, not really good at mini golf or golf in general, but um, you know, this is kind of fun. I could see myself actually playing this on mini clip back in the day. Okay. All right. Probably gonna suck. Yeah. I mean, can we? No. I mean, it does work. You know. I wouldn't say this is boring. Well, I mean, to watch maybe, but you know. Ooh, look at me. That was pretty cool, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's the mini golf. Uh, and tic tac toe. I mean, everyone knows what is tic tac toe. So uh, sure, let's go hard. Uh, oh, tie game. game again let's try this and I win so you know it's tic-tac-toe nothing special about that so those, those were you know flash games which again is very freaking shady in the first place that they just grabbed them and put them on a CD right I mean it's no big deal maybe they asked you know the actual people I don't know but um, at the same time cool thing to have so yeah, we have some patches, this is Quake 4, I did Quake 4 on the channel by the way, no commentary, so you can check that one out, a uh, pretty cool game in my opinion, um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I tried jokes there with text, which, you know, very cringy, as usual, <laughs> so yeah, we have some patches here, pretty much, and the next, oh there's some wallpapers here, not gonna go through them I mean you know I can see there's some Prince of Persia beyond good and evil Hulk right things like that so um, but yeah yeah so that's pretty much it as far as this interface goes again you know info and this is add whatever some, some sponsors I guess so yeah yeah I think most of these things don't exist anymore <laughs> well this radio does I believe yeah, yeah they do still do um, but yeah that's pretty much it as far as this disc goes right uh, but yeah that was the thing like those flash games I kind of want to showcase right they're stupid why not? 
And uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna jump into the uh, the demo. Right, Goblet of Fire. Uh, as far as Harry Potter goes, I like movies. I've seen uh, well all of them, and I did like a marathon two years ago, I think. Watched all of the movies and uh, love them. Uh, never read a book. I tried the first one way back when I was a kid. Couldn't do it. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, yeah. And as far as games go, I never really played them, so I don't know how good or bad they are. I mean, it's EA. You know, back in the day, right? They they did usually good, good stuff, but yeah yeah and i tried this demo by the way there's a reason why i picked it up because it seems like around 2006 the ea started to get greedy you know and then then the years went by and they got even more greedy and not with this one it's still free thing but it's really poor i would say really poor it doesn't want you to actually go and grab this game right and buy it so You'll see. I mean, I guess we're gonna jump in and then you'll see. Alright, so this is the game, basically, you know, and graphically it looks really bad, it's, it's like, you know, pretty bad thing, <laughs> graphics wise, right, subtitles on, and this is it, this is the whole options they give to you, also weird sound effect, sounds like a fart a little bit, Just listen to it. Yeah, there's a bit of a fart right there. You know. <laughs> but yeah, this is it. Right? So we can change graphics and uh, it looks really shitty. You know. I mean, even PS2 looks kind of better. Right? So that's like the first thing I have a problem with this one. And, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll play this. We'll see. And, um, yeah. Okay, we can choose characters. Like, they're very crusty, I would say. I don't know, let's go with good old Harry, right? Why not? Okay, press Jinx. I don't know what's Jinx, I guess. Space is Jinx. The villagers of Little Hangleton still called it the Riddle House. Half a century ago, a servant had found all three riddles dead. Perhaps if we were to do it without the boy, my lord. No. Harry Potter is as good as mine. It is decided. Harry Potter and his friends Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger travelled by portkey to the Quidditch World Cup final, where they saw Ireland defeat Bulgaria. Later that night, a gang of Death Eaters, followers of Lord Voldemort, rampaged across the campsite. Arthur Weasley sent Harry, Ron and Hermione back to the portkey. Pretty bad, you know, as far as it goes. Who are those things? Dunkel! Ow! Oh, idiot! And then we shoot no. things, and uh, controls are really There's bad as well. Like. Things. They're both Dunkel! 
can't do anything about camera. <laughs> I mean, this game obviously is meant to be played on controller, right? But, um... Yeah. It's pretty much it. As far as the demo goes. You pretty much saw everything. <laughs> Alright, we can move things. Okay. And it just seems really crusty. I don't know how the full game is. But, um, yeah. We're collecting weird things. You know, which is cool, but... Okay, I got hit by the rock for whatever reason. I guess the uh, Hermione threw that on me. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay. I mean, with the rocks, it's it's kind of cool in a sense, you know, that you can use environments to fight enemies. But I don't even know. This is, I guess, this is a hack and slash game, right? Sort of. So let's live the rock again. Okay. And yeah. Get a move on. Collecting bees. And... All right. So. Use carpet retractor. Then the dude did that. It seemed like he did that, right? He blew up the tree. Come on, you two. Or maybe not. Oh, there's like a wizard who's doing that, okay. You know, so again, I I don't know. The thing though, I, I watch this, I play it, right? And I do not want to play the full game. Which is pretty bad. They're everywhere. Get ready to jinx them. Okay, so... can't control the camera at all. And also play with keyboard. Which is pretty bad. You kind of want to go with keyboard and mouse, right? But from what I can tell, mouse does absolutely nothing. So, again, maybe the full game you can, right? Hard to say. But yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> And it's EA. The bridge. It's How's EA and from? we're pretty much done with this Fire! demo as well. Well, I'm Blimey. almost dead. Well, not really. Actually, a lot of lives. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, How looks worse than PS2. We can't cast at him! They know! What is that? It's the dark mark, Harry. It's his mark. Bolden, get to the port key. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> that was it. Pretty much. Um exactly right i mean there is obviously more shit you can see in those little pictures right there's some flying stages and whatnot but again i play this demo i do not wanna you know grab the actual game just not that interesting to me right um sure i'm sure it's great 
probably again but you know so so that's the EA <laughs> so uh, as far as demos this is like the worst that I know or played you know so far definitely I mean maybe there's gonna be some even worse but um, yeah who knows right so um can I master the magic no not at all not into it um, unlike an exclusive Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire video game cheat code enter this cheat code from your d-pad while in the card purchase screen so we purchase shit well not probably for real money up up down down left right left right a b start select or what was the Konami code right <laughs> works with most game platforms which again doesn't explain anything what is the most game platforms right and card purchase screen I don't like that so uh, yeah this is pretty much the demo right again actual game probably is way better way polished you probably have way better graphics options because this is like 600 by something pretty sure and also it's widescreen so 600 by what it was 6 by 8 600 800 resolution right I think so maybe I'm wrong but you the very lowest one obviously and uh, when you stretch it it looks like complete shit <laughs> you know so a uh, good job EA on this demo and I will bitch about things you know from 20 years ago because I can <laughs> which is fine I mean it's better to have demos than nowadays you don't have any right you have your Twitter you have your YouTube you have maybe a friend who has a game and then you do the math if you want to buy it or not right at least this was cool that you know there was demos and uh, some small companies still push out some demos right even the bigger ones I think there was one <coughs> which was surprising from like you know huge company they dropped the demo so yeah but that's pretty much it as far as this goes and uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna drop a shout out as well as usual. And uh, yeah, huge shout out goes to uh, Tacit Gamer or Takit Gamer. Sorry, dude, don't know how you pronounce your name. You know, um, no offense, <laughs> but um, I mean, I'll put him here on the screen as I usually do. So uh, go check him out, right? Um, yeah, supportive dude always responds even if it's you know takes a while because he has a lot of a lot of people on his channel and he responds to everyone as far as i can tell and uh yeah he well we kind of have similar taste as far as pc games go right he he knows some stuff i know some stuff he plays uh older pc games mostly uh which is cool right i can really relate <clears throat> and uh favorite one is still gothic 3 i've been watching that quite a bit you know uh, I like gothic games first two I never got really into third one because at the time I wanted to but the game was really um, um, demanding as far as you know your system went so uh, I didn't risk it there was a lot of sayings about you know fried <laughs> graphics cards you know when it came out right it was a very demanding game and <coughs> wasn't really optimized apparently so people had some issues with it uh, but yeah I stuck with the first two games which are amazing RPGs and he does the third one right nowadays of course you can play it without any problems but you know back then right and uh, yeah um, <coughs> he also did some Splinter Cell which is cool again I haven't seen Splinter Cell in years uh, and what great games by the way don't know really what happened with the franchise to be honest uh, and uh, yeah does some uh, sports titles I think cricket which is interesting uh, don't know nothing about cricket <laughs> but he plays it right plays the game and uh, yeah some wrestling stuff I believe and uh, pretty much all kinds of things right uh, PC related as far as I know I haven't seen him do any consoles but maybe for the future right uh, so yeah check the dude out give him a you know 
a sub, right? Give him a like, give him some watch time, you know. And I, yeah, he has pretty nice, uh, you know, follower base, I guess. I don't know if fan base, but you know, followers. Uh, there's a lot of peeps there as well. So, you know, the dude knows, again, better than I do <laughs> how to do this whole YouTube thing, uh, which is, you know, always a good thing to see. I have nothing against that, so, uh, yeah, check him out, and, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it, that was Harry Potter, right, demo, a really bad one, in my opinion, <laughs> again, the game probably is good, I would assume, right, um, but, um, then again, I don't know, so, yeah, but it seemed interesting, right, something like that, uh, and, uh, a bit of, you know, EA's greediness, and again, 2006, I believe, was the time when uh, EA was starting to get greedy with their games, right? That was the time when they started milk uh, Need for Speed games, you know, slowly started, but, you know, started, because they started to look the same, right? And, um, yeah, things like that. I think Battlefield 2 was out as well, which is a great game, by the way, second Battlefield but then it went, you know, pretty bad. I guess the third one was fine. Graphically, they're r really impressive games. You know, Battlefield 3 and 4, for example. Was there a fifth one as well? I don't know, even. Um, but yeah, that's it. Like, they look good and that's it, so. And that was the thing with EA. Like, many times. Still is, you know. Games look gorgeous really boring and really expensive at the end of the day because you know you must pay all kinds of uh, cosmetics and shit you know to show show your friends and or whatever online and nobody gives a shit at the end of the day to be honest <laughs> so you know but um again i mean do what you want with your money right so um yeah that's pretty much it um i guess yeah i've said everything was interesting to me so yeah we'll see how things gonna be in the future right and again a lot of demos I want to showcase and, and there's there's a lot like I'm looking right now at the stack stacks there's a lot of them so <laughs> we'll see uh, but yeah stay safe um, yeah go outside you know at least three times a day and uh, you know yeah, stay safe. Be aware of your surroundings, right? Maybe put the phone in your pocket when you cross the street. Because cause why not, right? It could save your life, actually. <laughs> you know, as ridiculous as it is, it's it's very common thing that people get run over nowadays. You know, um, but yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, bye.